So before we start this video, I will just mention that I'm currently sick with a cold and my throat burns like hell. So I apologize for my voice quality in this video, but the video needs to be recorded when it needs to be recorded, so here we are. With that, let's get into our second unit event of the third year, Stick to Your Faith, that will run from October 22nd to October 29th. This is a permanent Leonid unit focused event in the pure attribute. The commission song for this event is called Purpose and will be given to you through your mailbox on October 29th. The song releases with a virtual singer version and a Sekai version with alt vocals for Shiho and Rin being added in September of this year on the Japanese server. So you can look forward to Heishio and a Rin alt vocal version in a year's time. And as for the event story, this is a Shiho focused event. With the rest of the Leonid girls and Rin taking the supporting cast roles. And the event synopsis reads as follows. The members of Leonid are still steadily preparing for their professional debut. One day, when they were all gathered in the office, Shindo asked them about what kind of music they're aiming for, saying that it's so they can think about the direction of their activities in the future and how to properly market their music. Following the event story, we will also have a virtual live that will run between October 29th and October 30th. Joining during this time period will grant you 300 crystals and a stamp, the stamp this time around of Shiho called One Day I'll Be Like That. The virtual live avatar item added for this event is another headpiece in the form of a bowl of ramen. As always, if you want to pick up a headpiece for your virtual live avatar from the virtual live shop, it will cost you 3000 virtual live tokens or 1000 crystals. Of course, running alongside the event is also the event gacha, called Azure Resonance, that will run from October 22nd to October 31st. Because this is a permanent gacha, all of the cards will enter the standard gacha pool once the event ends. The first card in the gacha of course belongs to the focus character being Shiho with her card, the first notes. <gasps> Shiho is a perfect locker skilled card with the skill name to become even better than now and perfect locker skilled card will change all bad or better taps to perfect for 5.5 seconds and give a score boost of 80% for 5 seconds. And Shiho comes with the unique costume Resound Sky. The second character in the gacha is Honami, with the card name Looking for My Answer. <laughs> Honami is a healer skilled card with the skill name Act Natural and Click, and healer skilled card will recover 350 health and give a 80% score bonus for 5 seconds at talent level 1. And Honami comes with a new costume called Beyond Cloud. The third and final character in the gacha is Rin, with her card Share Your Memories. Rin is a scorer skilled card with the skill name Sister Rin is here, and scorer skilled cards will grant a 100% score bonus for 5 seconds at talent level 1. And the final new costume is called Warm Sunshine that is unlocked when you get Rin. Of course, we also have two exchange shop cards for this event. Saki takes the 2 star slot with her card, lots of things to look forward to. Saki is of the mysterious attribute and is a healer skilled card. And this of course means that Ichika takes the 3 star slot with her card to deliver an even better sound. 
Ichika is a pure attribute card and a scorer skilled card with the skill name at the unchanging performance. Saki and Ichika will of course become available once the actual event opens for the standard prices of 5000 tokens for a 2 star and 15000 tokens for a 3 star. But with that we have summarized the general information so let's move over to the event team building. And before we start, I will again mention that we've had a change to how event bonus and mastery rank works after 3rd anniversary. This change made it so that 4 star cards now grant a 10% event bonus at mastery rank 0. This means that 4 star cards that are the correct attribute and the correct character will grant a 60% bonus because of that extra 10% they get from being a 4 star card. And the 3 gacha focus cards for this event will grant an 80% event bonus because of that extra 10%. This has also happened to the birthday cards but they only get a 5% bonus, meaning that a birthday card in the correct attribute and character will have a 55% event bonus. But to make things visually clear, I will not mention this anymore during the event team building section as it is the character and attribute combination that grants the 50% bonus that we're talking about most of the time. But just know that 4 star cards and birthday cards gain an additional event bonus for just existing. And of course, as always, the event focus cards will grant the 70% bonus, but that's not really what we're looking for. We are instead looking for what you can fill out your roster with if you don't get everyone from the gacha or if you're not summoning at all. Starting off with our focus character, Shiho has 4 available cards. This includes her 2 star card from the event Draw Your Bow in This White World and her 3 star card from the event Knock the Future. She also has 2 4 star cards, one limited, one permanent. The limited card comes from the event Don't Lose Faith, while the permanent one comes from the event That Day, The Sky Was Far Away. The second character in the gacha on the other hand, Honami, has 6 available cards. This includes her 2 star card from the event Warmth of Intersecting Melodies, her 3 star card from the event Stella After the Rain, and 3 4 star cards. 2 limited, 1 permanent. The first limited card comes from the event Let's Have the Absolute Best Summer, while the second one comes from the event To You, My Caring Companion. While her only permanent card comes from the event Get Over It. And finally, as a bonus, she does have a happy birthday card available, being from the second year. Continuing on with the unit characters, Saki also have 6 available cards. This includes her 2 star card from the release of the game, her 3 star card from the event Echo My Melody, and 4 4 star cards, 2 limited, 2 permanent. Her first limited 4 star comes from the event Let's Have the Absolute Best Summer, while her second one comes from the event Don't Lose Faith. While her first permanent 4 star comes from the event The Temma Household Hinamatsuri, and her second one comes from the event Get Over It. This leaves us with Ichika as our final unit member. And Ichika keeps the pattern up with 6 available cards, including her 2 star card from the event Stella After the Rain, her 3 star card from this event's exchange shop, she also has 3 available 4 star cards, 1 limited, 2 permanent. Her limited 4 star card comes from the event Don't Lose Faith, while her first permanent 4 star comes from the event Singing With You in a World Where Sherry Blossoms Dance. And her second permanent 4 star card comes from the event That Day The Sky Was Far Away, and as an extra bonus she also has a happy birthday card available, hers just like Konami's being from the second year. And this leaves us with Rin, but because this is a unit focused event, it means that all virtual singers with the Leonid tag can give the 50% 
bonus. This gives us a staggering 8 cards with a 50% bonus from the Virtual Singers. This list includes the Mako 2 star from the event Resonate With You and the Luca 2 star released with the 3rd anniversary 2 star cards. We also have the 3 star Luca from the release of the game and the 3 star Rin from the event Don't Lose Faith. And on top of that, we have 4 available 4 star cards, all of them permanent. The first 4 star is the Luka from the event Sekai's Happy New Year, followed by the Miku from the event Singing With You in a world where Cherry Blossoms dance. The third card to be released is the Kaito from the event That Day The Sky Was Far Away, and the final card we have seen for the Virtual Singers is the Mako from the event Get Over It. And because this is a unit focused event, it also means that all virtual singers that are considered blank or unitless can grant the 40% bonus as well. Included in this category is also 8 cards, including the 1 star card Luca, the first happy anniversary for Mako and Len, the colorful festival exclusive Miku and Luca released with the second anniversary colorful festival, the happy anniversary second year Rin, and finally the two star Miku and Kaito released with the third anniversary. And we have two very small asterisks for this event team building as well. Of course, the 2 star Luca released with the 3rd anniversary has not been in the gacha pool for a very long time, so it might be harder to have that card if you did not summon a lot or buy the bundle from the 3rd anniversary gacha. And of course, the Ichika is not available in the gacha yet, as she is part of the exchange shop, meaning that you can pick her up from the exchange shop during the event duration. Just like Burn My Soul, this is a very very strong event team building. I would say that Stick to Your Faith is slightly weaker though with the amount of limited cards marring this event team building. Still, there are 6 available 2 star cards, 6 available 3 star cards and almost 3 full sets of permanent cards, most of them very old as well. So I don't really have much more to say, it is a super solid event team building that will be available most likely to new players as well as veterans. A lot of different options for low cost cards in citation marks and a lot of old 4 star cards. Of course, I would say that this is weaker than Burn My Soul because of the amount of limited cards in the pool, but I don't think that it weighs it down that much. Especially considering with how versatile the virtual singers are for once, which is something that's kinda rare. So instead of me continuously stating the obvious, I think we can move on to the future usability instead. And as is tradition, if the event team building is great, usually the future usability is not. Konami, Rin and Ichika are currently without any future use as far as we can currently see. We also know for certain that after Mizuki 5 we will see Akito 5 on the Japanese server, so the next event cannot cover these characters. Of course, it's been a year since Leo Needs last pure event being this event that we're currently talking about, but we can never know for sure when another pure event for Leo Need or a mixed event containing these characters will show up. So as of now, Honami, Rin and Ichika are entirely without use and are therefore lower gameplay value by a good margin. Of course, Ichika does see use during this event, stick to your faith. And as she's an exchange shop card, it makes it very important to pick her up as soon as possible as she is a great addition if you do not have a team with only 4 stars or if you're maybe lacking a 3 star to fill out the roster. But I don't think we need to discuss anything more about Stick It To Your Faith, so I would get Ichika as soon as possible as she is a great addition to the team, but other than that she will not see any future use. Of course, this means that Shiho does actually see use and she sees use during the event Put Your Heart Into It Dream Stage that is also known as the 4th anniversary event. 
This event will run from the 30th of September to the 9th of October and includes Toya, Shiho, Airi and Nene in the gacha. Of course, this means that Shiho is available with a 70% bonus during this event, making the Stick It To Your Faith card lower gameplay value, especially seeing as the 4th anniversary is connected to a Bloom Festival, which gives the 6% drop chance for a 4 star, as well as being a limited event, meaning that the Shio is a limited card that comes with a hairstyle. And Saki ate up all of the future usability, as she sees used during the event next to the Unchanging Warmth that will run from the 31st of December to the 7th of January with Shiho, Meiko and Mizuki in the gacha, meaning that Saki is only ever available with a 50% bonus during this event, which means that she is of higher gameplay value if you do not have a mysterious Saki yet. She also sees used during the event Let It Ring, Beautiful beautiful sound that will run from the 9th of August to the 15th of August. And in this gacha is Toya, Kanade and Anne, meaning that Saki is once again only a 50% card for this event. And the final event Saki will see using is This Moment With You that will run from the 20th of September to the 28th of September and includes Ichika, Saki and Leonid Len. This does mean that Saki is available with a 70% bonus if you do decide to pull from this gacha. This means that her 2 star card is of lower gameplay value, but as always an exchange shop card is a free card and should always be your first priority to pick up from the event exchange shop. As exchange shop cards is a super important way to build up your roster, gain character ranks and get some crystals. So Saki just ate all of the future usability, leaving nothing for anyone else and it's really sad to see when gacha cards and even the 3 star cards have not had any future usability or very low gameplay value. As we do pull for these cards to use them but without future usability it's really hard to argue why you should. But since there was so little usability to actually talk about I think we can move on to the future limited costumes for Saki, Honami and Rin. The first event where one of these characters will get a new costume we already mentioned being next to the Unchanging Warmth that will run from the 31st of December to the 7th of January and includes Shiho, Meiko and Mizuki in the event gacha. But since this is the New Year's event, we also have a colorful festival attached to it with Shizuku and Minori as the colorful festival exclusive cards. This is followed by a costume for Honami during the event Rise as One or third and a half anniversary that will run from the 30th of March to the 8th of April. In the gacha is Honami, Kaito and Akito but this event is also connected to a colorful festival, with Tsukasa, Emu and Saki as the colorful festival exclusive cards. Honami will then get another costume during the event Wonder Horror Test of Courage. This event will run from the 31st of August to the 9th of September and includes Emu, Mafu and Honami in the gacha. And of course, we already mentioned the final event where one of these characters will get a costume, being the 4th anniversary event Put Your Heart Into It Dream Stage, where Shiho, Airi, Toya and Nene are part of the event gacha, but this event being the 4th anniversary is of course connected to the new form of colorful festival called a Bloom Festival. And available in the Bloom Festival is Rin and Rui as the Bloom Festival exclusive cards. Meaning that both Rin and Shiho will get costumes during the 4th anniversary. And the 4th anniversary gacha will run between the 30th of September and the 9th of October. So you don't have a lot of options when it comes to new limited costumes for Shiho, Honami or Rin. 
But what about rerunning costumes if you have one you really love? And of course, once again, I'm putting up the big notice that any limited gacha will only get two reruns before getting discontinued. I really don't want anyone to miss this information, so if you want an in-depth explanation of what this actually entails and what the recollection festival is that the limited cards will join once they get discontinued, you should go watch my dedicated video on the topic that you can find in the description of this video or on my channel. But just know that the second rerun is the final of any given limited gacha and I will call them as such when they come up. So speed running through them, Spooky Wolf Forest will have its first rerun in November and its final rerun confirmed for August 2025. In January we will see Lion Dance with its final rerun also confirmed for August 2025. Maiden's Wish for a New Year's will have its second and final rerun in January alongside Lion Dance. Fluttering Maiden or second and a half anniversary will have its first rerun in April with no second rerun yet confirmed. Let's Enjoy Summer will have its final rerun in April with the Moonlit Knights of Rabbit Sister Gacha having its final rerun confirmed for May. Eternal Bells will have its first rerun in June with no second rerun yet confirmed and in the same month is Before the Storm's final rerun. And the final gacha with one of these characters is the Emotional Music March that will have its first rerun in September and no second rerun yet confirmed on the Japanese server. So the selection of rerunning gachas isn't much better with very few options, but a few of them are having their final rerun coming up very soon. So if there's one of the cards you really want from these gachas, I would highly suggest saving your crystals for that gacha and trying to snipe them during their final rerun. But with that, we have arrived at the final question. Should you summon from Azure Resonance and should you participate in the stick? it to your faith event. And of course, as always, you should always participate in every event in Project Sekai for great rewards and you should always summon from the gacha if you love the cards and have the funds available. But of course, if you're still on the fence, there are some things we can consider. These cards are permanent and they will be available through things such as picklists, happiness packages, the exchange shop in a year's time and also in every subsequent gacha coming out. It is also sad to see that they do not have any future use, which makes it harder for me to endorse going for the gacha hard. Of course, if you really love the cards, you should not listen to a word I say and summon for exactly what you want, as it is your account and you should always pick the cards that make you the happiest. But seeing the little usability in combination with how great of a selection Leonid already has for the pure attribute, I don't really see much value in going for them if you don't love the cards a lot. Especially seeing how many great things are coming up for Project Sekai, and while we don't have Sanrio confirmed, it's good to keep it in mind. I also personally think that this event, just like Burn My Soul, has some really beautiful cards with a really amazing card art in the untrained aspect, but the trained card art, while very pretty, don't feel very special and the costumes really can't carry the set as they feel worse than the card arts themselves. They are kind of a bit too close to, in my opinion, to Hello Good Day's costume, feeling very samey to the Ichika one. But those are just my opinion and once again, if you have the crystals and you really love these cards, you should definitely go for them and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But with that, I do think I've summarized everything, especially with how much my voice is hurting. So please, in the comments, share your opinions. Are you excited for this event? Are you waiting for another event? Or do you think that this event is underwhelming? I really love to hear all of your opinions and I do read every single comment. And while you're down there, make sure you're subscribed and rung the bell so you get notifications of each new event video and also the upcoming World Link event 
good guide. And also like the video and share it with a friend as these things helped an immense amount in my growth and also getting the video to more people. But with that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for making it to the end of the video. I will not keep you here any longer. Let's get out of here for the week.